OK, so let's do the practical demonstration of wallpapering. What we've done is the most important thing with, with wallpapering is surface preparation. So we've already cross-lined the walls. What we've done then is we've brought the ceiling down onto that wall by about two inches. And we've also brought the trim up to the wall by about two inches. The next thing we need to do is identify where to start. When you start, the most important thing is to get a nice straight line. So you need to plumb a line and work away from that line. When you get to your next corner, when we do the cut, you'll see that I'll actually plumb the next line on that wall. And again, it's very, very important that you plumb out of each corner. Let's get started. When pasting your paper, always use the paste recommended by the wallpaper manufacturer and mix according to the instructions. If you're pasting the paper, adhere to the soap times to avoid bubbles or stretching. Here, I've pre-cut two pieces, longer than necessary to allow for pattern matching, and I'm folding them ready to carry to the wall. Offer the top of the paper up to the wall and carefully slide it into position until the pattern matches. Then use a brush to remove any air bubbles and to ensure good adhesion to the wall. Next, carefully cut the top edge. Here I'm using a knife and a straight edge, but you could use scissors. If you fold the offcuts before discarding them, it avoids contaminating your work area with paste. Then, double check the pattern match and sponge off the excess paste with a damp sponge. Carefully unfold the bottom of the paper, checking the pattern matches. Then again, brush this to remove any air bubbles. And cut the bottom edge. Finally, wipe off the excess paste from the skirting board. When you reach a corner, take three measurements of the required width. You can then transfer this measurement to the paper. The key here is to bring the paper around the corner by as little as you can say five millimeters. Apply this piece in the same way as before, ensuring that the pattern matches. Then use a brush to remove any air bubbles and to ensure good adhesion to the wall. Next, you need to measure the width of the remaining piece of paper, then transfer this measurement to the new wall. It's then very important that you plumb a line to work from to ensure that this new wall is papered correctly. Where the paper is to overlap, apply Polycell Border Adhesive. When you apply this next strip, ensure you line it up with the plumb line and check that the pattern matches where it overlaps. Finally, sponge off the excess border adhesive. So, that was the practical demonstration on wallpapering. A couple of things you need to consider. First of all, when matching your pattern, make sure you do this at eye level. That way, if the paper does stretch, you will lose the pattern slightly at the bottom when no one really should notice. There are other things we cover, things like how to paper around a reveal, how to paper around arches, and probably the most common nowadays is papering a chimney breast. So what we do is we, we find a centre point and we work out. All this is covered in, in the course. Finally, if you're looking to apply a wallpaper to a feature wall, you need to consider finding the middle, very much like the chimney breast, find the middle, and work out in both directions. This will give you a nice balanced wallpapering finish.